Hi there, AV here. Let's continue our journey today. I think we're on, this is episode 17. Yes, I think that. Um, all right, let's see where we are today. Oh, that's right. We're going to really explore this area and I think that's it. Yeah, because everything, our factions are far away. I do think we have a main quest we can hit first. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. So... DLC, DLC. They're both main quests. Yeah, so we can hit this main quest first. Um, no, <laughs> I want to, I want to, I'm being impatient, but I usually prefer to do side quests first. So let's do that first. This guy looks really messed up in need of attention. Help me, please. I've been robbed. The rogue stabbed me, made off with my belongings. Last, I can't believe I lost the amulets. Damn, Freeman. We refugees are an easy target. There's little we can do to defend ourselves. He came from the cliffs. A bandit, I think. Stabbed me in the back, then made off with my satchel in his hand and a wicked smile on his face. My mother's prized amulet is gone. A kind woman's last gift to her devoted son. I am in no condition to give chase. Will you help me? Ah, oh, damn it. So I am. What of it? Uh, my treacherous okay. partner stuck me when my back was turned. First he nicked me, then he nicked my bag. Not like it matters. If you bring that amulet, I'll pay you for it. It's that simple. Mine or not, I intend to have that prize. Okay. So... Oldie Mundus knows what happened. Well, I don't have the amulet. Gelt does. He took it from me. In exchange, he left his dagger in my shoulder. He went north. Okay. I don't know how that guy's still standing. Um, it looks like he's going to die from blood, lo blood loss any second. Have this my control set up right? Yeah, okay, I do. All right. So that was interesting for sure. I, I passed the speech check. That was good. Let's do this one first. Do you I mean, it? Jesus. That guy is gonna die of blood loss any second. But I guess not here because um I don't know. He has that spell that helps against the where you can kill yourself. No, I probably need to repair These are normally pretty annoying to battle. Um, okay. back I almost didn't know if I was going to stream today because I was so tired but then I read two comments on my last video and I really appreciate those and both of you inspired me to still stream and then I'm glad because I feel a lot better thank you Sammy and 
I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Is it D Delia or Delia? I appreciate you, both of you. Thank you. Um, Sammy made some good points. We'll probably revisit Issa later on at some point to complete those quests. Maybe when we want some XP. Maybe um, just to go back to complete those quests. I feel like one of the factions will take this back there. I'm not quite sure. Um, because my memory is a, a bunch of poop. We'll find out. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I'm just kind of grabbing some stuff while we're over here, um, collecting ingredients. This, uh, we have to call, uh, there's a sandstone right here that I have to grab. So I'll be getting that in a second. Just missed that one. Yeah, I can get upgrade my, uh, repair my stuff. I feel like they're not damaging that much. Man, look at that view, though. I mean, I know it's a lot of emptiness over there, but it's still pretty cool to see Rith here in the distance. And that mountain, which I don't know the name of. It's so cool. Reminds me of the Sword of the World. Skyrim. Good. From the naked dirt sprang the Majestics, the firstborn of the wilds of Ashara. Around them, they heard the song of splendor of a once and future summer. And they responded. And the earth moved. The carver shaped, the architect built, and the shaper composed. Cool. I love hearing uh, lore on, like, creation lore for the game. Any game, really. It's always interesting. I think this path goes to the Cradle Summer. Oh, we gotta go there anyways. That's fine. I don't feel like we got everything here. Um... I want to go over there. Let's go. I need health. Oh, let's check my inventory. Oh, my inventory is fine. We can we can do this. I don't have to worry about selling stuff for a little bit. I just love the Cradle of Summer. It's one of my favorite places in the game. Being a little patient. Let me open up Twitch. I am getting a comment. I'm always ignoring Twitch, not on purpose. Just don't usually get comments, and then the only comment I got recently was spam. I don't usually do it. Yeah, okay, nothing. I don't, don't want to. I don't really care too much. The majority of my views are on YouTube, but I like to make sure I'm not, not ignoring anybody. This looks like there's an item here. I can't pick it up. Cool. <sighs> yeah, so just... Oh. I mean, after the sandstone. Parting their home beyond the veil, the firstborn were torn asunder with a cry that still lingers in the heart of every god tree and mountain. Then, emptiness, followed by a darkening sky. 
and the frost wept with the first winter. Um, yeah, just like a little side note here. Um, this is the first week of my new job with better hours. Now I'll be getting off at 5.30. The job is way better than my last job. So hopefully I'll have a lot more energy for streaming and my schedule will kind of normalize. I know it's been a little rocky because I just haven't had a lot of energy lately, but it'll be a little exhausting the next few weeks, you know, learning a new thing, but it will get better and I should have more time. I think this will be our thumbnail today. That's such a nice view. The Shaper bequeathes her music to the countryside of marble ruin. The plains birthed the gentle grass. Listless streams meandered through the verdant hills and babbled of their gentle travel to the face of the windswept cliffs. Thus the symphony of Arathel began. Oh man, I love views like this. Like this is the kind of thing in Skyrim where you know that the developers the developers, like after they built this area, then flush it out with trees. You know, they sat, somebody sat here and looked out and was like, yeah, this is perfect. Looks so good. I was seeing like the little wolves out there. And they will bother me in a second. <laughs> I think we do come back out here for a quest. <laughs> that was the wrong button. I need to repair my stuff. Oh, I didn't see that wolf. Let me think. Use my brain again. <laughs> Jeez, it keeps getting me. I can't reset. Is fully repaired. What is going on? They can lunge at me before I can uh, animate to do my uh, flame. And that time he did it the wrong direction. Oh, they're all going to run away because we ran too far from the encounter zone. <sighs> Come on, guys. does kind of work with them is you just have to uh, catch them before they start trading off lunches at you. Oh, it looks like it's getting darker. Like we came here, I don't know, was that sunrise or since that evening? The sandstone. The great cycle brought powerful magic to Armalor. The arcane veil begat King Issa's reign, and all things in balance, also its destruction. The seasons passed, the summer wilted into autumn, and Lord Ohm calmed his strength. King Issa's sway receded, as does the shade at noon. The Feylands rested from their sprouting, and a haze of indolence silenced the woods. When the winter moon waned, it began. A terrible thunder rolled across the darkened plains of Erethel. 
I do remember this quest. I mean, barely. We have to go to the middle of this area. And we haven't leveled up in... It feels like we haven't leveled up in a while. Those are not good, okay? Save again. Good, but okay, I'll hold on to it. The quest person, no, you are. I'm going to save again just in case there's a speech check. Are you one of the intruders? One of the children of the dust? What else can we possibly give you that you haven't already taken? The cradle of summer is not a flower for the plucking. Mortals, children of the dust, those who seek only to steal the treasures of the land from which we sprung to end the deep slumber. Mortals like you who seek to bend nature to their will, to make it bow before them as a servant, not embrace it as a guide and mother. Mortals, thieves, liars, and weaklings. They have stolen items of great power. They have stolen the three staffs. All right, let's help. A child of the dust wishes to help the cycle. Why, there is no precedent. If you truly wish to assist those of us in the deep slumber, you are welcome to. The three staffs were stolen from Sill Hollow and destroyed by the thieves who did not comprehend their power or their value. I heard their dying screams. The pieces must be recovered and the staffs must be reforged. If you can do this, you are more worthy of the cradle than I could imagine. But likely, you will not. Oh, we got this. No problem. This right now. Is this all here? Oh, okay. So this will take us back out. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll continue the quest we were on first, and then we'll hit that next. And we need to keep exploring the area for more sandstones. Yep, there's one right up here. Let me get this fast travel. Chest over here. I'll take it. The chest. Great. This one's really taking me... Oh, it's not taking me that far. Well, it is, actually. Oh, man. I think that's one of the Easter eggs. We'll come right back for that in a second. Oh, I can't use that. Not yet. We can use that way late game. Let's grab 
this sandstone real quick. Look to these open plains, nestled where mire and rocky deserts cease, where the hungry forests end. In the bosom of the Feylands, these fields are home to the languid sky. This work, shaped by the delicate artistry of an inspired painter, is for all the peoples of all lands. It really is a pretty view. But we already got our thumbnail today. I think this is. I read. I saw somebody post on Reddit. There was this um, a sword in the stone. Easter egg. So I've been here before, but I guess I didn't pick up on this, which is pretty obvious. Oh, cool. What is that? That's a lot cooler than what I have. Um, this will give me health. That's cool. I don't care about any of the resistances or the block. So it is 30 more health worth losing? No, I don't know. I guess I'll take it. It's better than that other helmet I picked up earlier. Let me get rid of that old one. What I have, I, I mean, I'm still wearing stuff that's like level 15. So we're level 19 now. We could be wearing better stuff. That was pretty cool. Oh, this area just looks so cool. The river is all leading to the, the lake in the middle. Okay, we have another sandstone up ahead. Oh, to get to this one, we have to go this way. Travel spot, I think. No. no. Did we already discover that? We did. I wasn't paying attention. Another sandstone. Is this all of them for this area? The summer begins here, yes. oh mortals. And when the final winter leaves its chill breath on the stones of your fathers and mothers, you will witness the end of days. And it will happen here. Where it began, a peaceful death in the cradle. That's pretty nice. Compared to everything else it could be. The chest. I really need to get better about, um, oh. excited. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, what? You have absolutely no idea what you've done, do you? Thanks to you, the barrier is broken, and the magic weakens. If we do not act swiftly, the Cradle of Summer will be lost. The Cradle of Summer is a blessed place, and we must protect it from those that wish to make such power their own. My barrier served its purpose for many Mark, seasons. Here. Magic everywhere has been in decline. 
Your disturbance of the lore stones destroyed the barrier. You are responsible. I will help restore the barrier. Then come. Come here, Mara. I will come restore the down. barrier at the font, but you must protect me. The wild fay will be here soon. This is the chance they've been waiting for. Oh no, I won't be able to save. Can I save? Oh, I can't. Can I save right now? Oh, good. Okay. Let's save over this. I feel like I remember this being a really difficult fight. One of those Snake. monsters, wherever they are. Oh, it's just a little bit of everything, apparently. Okay. Oh, they resist that. Ooh, these guys are powerful. Okay, how can we get these guys? Oh, is this the quest where if I'm not quick enough, they will kill the quest giver? Oh no. I forgot we can do this now. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Wow. Oh no, they might have killed the quest giver already. I need to prevent that. Might have to reload. Load back really quick. Let's try and run away and see if we can't make them stay near where we are. Yes. So this time, I know I can take these guys out pretty quickly. So I could save right here. I don't even know if they give a quest, but I want to make sure, just in case. I'll try and see if I can't beat them here. Keep them away from that lady. And remember that I can cast this to stunning me. We could do some potions real quick. I never use them anyway, so let's do um, let's do a damage boost and one of these things, those things. That too, why not? All right, that'll help us out. I'm trying to keep them away from her. Mine. I'm trying to cast this thing. Okay. Thank you. Is 
so tough because one of them are breaking me. I'm trying to attack the other one. So I can hit this guy. You know what? I only have the time to do like one or two abilities, maybe. Let's try and keep them away from the tree. Okay, we got one stun. Oh no, I died. Is that the first time I died? In this entire playthrough? Alright, that's pretty good. Not bad if that's the first time I've ever died. Let's see how good we do this time. Do that because they are pretty tough so let's grab that um image boost mana reach in health reach in warrior strength let's just do it all i still have that um oh okay i rolled into him The other guy's messing him up. Crap. Okay, we have to load back. Um, I don't know if that person, if they die, they could break um, future quests. But just in case, like I can't really run the risk. So let's get those consumables again. Image boost for sure. This will help me out. Jump over to this really quick. like really low level now for my Ryan at <laughs> enemies are so tough. Oh I just couldn't roll in time. to um, upgrade anything. They're not bad, they're only at 23. Yeah. It's time to get some new ones, I guess. These, they're resisting my attacks with this. Up. Hmm. I'm 
not sure what to do with this because they keep going there. And I can't kill them fast enough. I have to get to them. Making sure I'm constantly hitting all of them. Definitely need that damage boost. And I'll go ahead and pick these because they are helping me out. He's doing that thing again. I think he's gonna kill her and there's something I can do about it. I'm trying not to... Got one down. Is she already dead? Oh, did you just kill her? Fuck, oh, man. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, I died anyway. Damn, man. I might be out of my league on this one. I might have to come back here later. I'm trying my best. Let's, um, let's map this so we can grab this again. Here, we might need it. I'm trying to grab these guys before anything happens. I need to get him to come away. He keeps running over there. I need to be able to aggro them and keep them with me. Let's see what I can do. Let me try and get them somewhere first. And then I'll worry about the other stuff later. I keep them over here. Okay. 
Alright, so now I kind of got them stuck farther away. So let's grab my fun potions. make you fall, but they can't stun you. that again. Another damage boost, that would be nice. I can save from saving. Oh no, there's more? You're kidding me! Okay, well they throw over here. This apparently it's really hard level for this area. <laughs> or my weapon sucks. I'm not quite sure. I need to save like right. Oh, good. I can save right now. That was tough. But now we're already kind of fucked again. Let's see. They're coming to me, so it looks like we're okay. As long as I can keep them away from the tree, I think we're okay.
we going? Back here. No, get your full health whenever you run away. Definitely tough. Did anyone else die? Did we save everybody? I, I am so weary, but it is done, and the cradle is safe once more. You have done what is right, and I am pleased to give you this talisman as a symbol of my thanks. Perhaps the first one spoke the truth. That the fonts are running dry. That things are finite after all. For that is how I feel at this moment. Drain of all life. An odd sensation, this dying. Maybe there is something to mortality after all. This does sound very great. Let's check out this talisman she gave us. Oh, it's a... <laughs> that was a really tough fight. I was not expecting that at all. I remembered it being tough, though, I do. It was tough on normal. On hard, it was a lot more difficult. Mostly because I didn't want her to die. So the real tough part was getting everybody to stay over there, but I figured it out. set pieces that are cooler. I don't want to have to make my own. I don't use daggers. Oh, I don't use that. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a lot. That was intense. I'm just running around and grabbing everything now. Oh, is that the traveling? Um, it's like a person that travels around that you can buy stuff from in here. I wonder if that's them. I think I'm not misremembering. Hi. Oh, hello. Lovely weather. Have you spotted any sativa fiber? It's okay if you haven't. I'll keep looking. Lovely weather. Leela Janik, didn't you know? I thought that's why you were speaking to me. I collect plants to sell, to mix, to eat. Some of them I haven't figured out what to do with yet. What I'd love is some sativa fiber, fresh and unpicked. There's a patch of it, but the spiders won't let me near. Oh, hello. Did you just get here? Don't do it on my account. The Cradle of Summer will provide. Okay. What do you have? Lots of ingredients and recipes, which we don't need. I don't think we need. I don't think we care about any of that stuff. Um... Ingredients, so I'm half tempted to just buy ingredients when I see them, but I don't really need them. Sell our stuff, though. Nice to 
Alright. And we could do her quest real quick while, while we are here. Is that nearby? Oh, I totally forgot about the main quest we're here for. Totally got distracted by whatever happened over there. Glad that's over. believe that. I feel like that's the most intense fight we've had so far. We have, um, you can't see it because I think my head's blocking it on the stream, but it's that ability. Um, let me show you in case I, I don't remember. We just got this last time. So it grants short term resistance. Basically, I cast this, um, and it, for 10 seconds, my armor is reduced, but um, I can shrug off blows. So, like, I can take a lot of stuff that would normally stun my character. It seems like physical attacks still stun me. I think that's how that works. Was that another secret area? Did we get this one already? Looks like we did, okay. I think I'm going the wrong way. Got distracted collecting stuff. I was like, why can't I do my abilities? I was in the wrong screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm constantly trying to do the circle chakra thing, and then I'm getting blocked. There's a lot of loot here, at least. Come on. There we go. Okay. What's that? Let's see grab that. We're already here. There's a speech check. 
Thank the gods. Someone's come for me at last. Yes, I am the scoundrel you're looking for. Yes, I stabbed my partner in the back. Do with me what you like. Just please, please take the amulet. It's yours. I'll tell you why. This fey trinket belonged to Armin the Clever, and it's cursed. Like most, I considered it an old traveler's story. Well, now I'm a believer. It's real. I have the scars to prove it. Your only hope is to give it away, or to travel to Armin's Hollow, in hopes you can remove the curse, which is why I'm here. Please, take the amulet. I am so weak. I cannot withstand its influence. If I possess it any longer, I will surely die. Okay. What a relief. You have no idea how long I've been trying to abandon that damn thing. In order to be rid of its curse, you must take the amulet to Armin's Hollow of Sill and cleanse it. Armin wishes to make you enter his lair and face its many dangers. But once you've done that, the amulet is yours to keep. But you ask me, it's a high price to pay for a rather dull trinket. Mm. Good luck. Well, let's hope it isn't a dull trinket and it actually has a purpose. Is this like a choice type thing? I know, it's just... Yeah. I was just checking if, um, like I had an option to return it or go cleanse it, but it looks like it's just, I can just go cleanse it. We'll do that. Creatures, but those are so creepy. Great. You are too kind. From now on, you are considered a valued customer to all the Janics. Everything is cheaper for the Spider Slayer. That is your name, isn't it? Sure. So long. All right, continuing on quest. I had made this my objective. Um, let's go ahead and knock this one out, since we're cursed and we have to. <laughs> oh, a secret door already. Oh wait, no? That, that must be where we come through at the end of the quest. Almost to 22. Well, I think we're level 19. Oh, because the way our skills are distributed. Why? I have no idea where I got 19 from. That might be our. Uh... I don't know, man. I'm tired. Who knows? I think we're on level, or, uh, level. Video. I'm trying to say video part 17. Okay, so every time I attack, I attack myself.
It's just a sorcery. I don't usually want the magicka increasing potions. I threw my chakras left. It's okay. We will level up in just a second. Alisman, oh, less than what we have. Present chance to burn enemies when blocking. Okay, we don't block that. So, damn. Okay. Let's save and level up. want. Persuasion seems to be pretty good. Our stealth is, is okay now. It's not great. I'm not too concerned about our money. I think I'm, I'm going to bump up. I don't know. Maybe persuasion is more important. But I kind of want to bump up dispelling because um, uh, I am getting cursed a lot from those things. And it's safe scumming works, but it's Inconvenient for sure. So I think I'll take dispelling. And for here, I definitely. We do get the power surge pretty frequently because I am the type of player where I like to um, I'll let my health stay around 20%, whatever. It does get knocked down quite often. So if I put one point into here, and with my bonuses that I have, that'll bump it up. But I think we only have a plus one might or right now, so it's still something. And for finesse, I don't really care about poison resistance. I don't really care about lunge. So I think. It's time to put something into the Fey Blades. And for Might, or I'm sorry, Sorcery, this will increase our shock damage. So let's grab that. All right. Basically, this should let it um, give us a 10% chance for shocking damage to, to jump between enemies and since we definitely have a plus one already we're actually going to be getting plus 20 percent chance so that's pretty good and i would like to get this this is pretty good too we'll grab that soon but not now and we're still here we can't get to the next one again because that is not until 27 26 We'll be there soon, but at least we have some good improvements. I do need to start taking a look at the green items because I do keep forgetting that for our armor, we're still wearing a blue item. Green. And almost everything except for our shoes, our shield, and our head. Which I might just switch. I mean, that's just such a huge difference. Um, 
And we have so many potions, honestly, that it might be better to just have the bonuses. This gives us plus 2 mana regen per second, and plus 15% mana regeneration per second. It's pretty awesome. The only reason I've been keeping it is because other than that troll fight, we've been doing fine. I'd rather have some bonuses boost my um, abilities a little bit. I was making sure we didn't miss that chest I'm seeing on the compass. It's in a different room that we can't access just yet. Yeah, but at least for gauntlets and um, boot, no, not boots, chests. Let's just stay over here. I'm trying to test out that shock thing. A chance isn't as common as, as I would like. I mean, I guess I could check my inventory. Is there any green items we came across already? I know I sold a lot. Let's go see. For legs. Let's take a look at that. Legs and arms. And I guess chest. Okay, so we only have that. So we might actually have some better hands. Yeah, slightly better. the exact same as what I have. Let's 
try your luck. Hey, cleanse. Yay. here that person is looks like she's chilling by that spider area that makes sense i think we got everything there is here except for some little chests oh, i'd say it's safe to return that took a lot longer than i thought it was going to be Ooh, these are... Why did I want these? Why, why do I remember this name of these ants? So, $89.99, so this is like a little more than 20 more armor, but this is plus 24 armor, this is plus 20% armor. I feel like that's probably better, I don't know. Does plus 24 armor mean like 79 plus 24, if that's the case, and this is equal to roughly the same, but this one also adds... So, my armor is always going to give you more armor, more defense. I thought Lunala gave me an ability point, but I guess not. And because of that, honestly, I'm, I feel like I should just sell them. I got these for so long because they give me plus one finesse. Bad. I mean, I got it from a well, though, so what do I expect? Hmm. Care about that? What's this quest want me to do? Return the amulet, cleanse amulet, find the highway robber. Now the I, I should return it to one of the two men who desire it. Edwin waits along the road where I left him, while the true owner, Wayne Amundus, lives in Emera to the north. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna give this to the true owner. Alright guys. What do you want? I'm in the midst of a personal crisis and I wish not to be disturbed. Damn free men. My stolen amulet and stripped of its pesky curse. Beautiful, isn't it? Now that it won't kill you, that is. Hand it over. Ah, justice. Yes, I believe you'll go far in our world. Ragged and raging as it is. As for those two knaves, I suspect they will meet with a gallows soon enough. Goodbye. R.I.P. I don't know. I feel like if those um if those robbers were honest with me, like up front, um, maybe I would have given it back. But the first guy had lied to me, I had to use a speech check to get him to tell me the truth. The second guy, um I don't know. He was kind of honest, but 
didn't really want anything to do with it. I can't get back to him. Oh, yeah, that's just how that goes sometimes. We do have the... Is that... No, I don't think that's what I think it is. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me check my trainer list. Of Amor, Trainers, we have the Alchemy here in Mare. Here to three. Oh man, we're definitely above three, aren't we? Uh, status skills. I have to respect just to get this trainer here. Are there any others that are? nearby or soon to make this kind of worth it. It's not really a big deal. I can do it easy real quick. The next trainer for alchemy. The next trainers are Rathir. And then the other two is... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's Rathir and then the other area. Um, minutes here. And it's here. Is that, um... I think that is down here. Yeah. So the other trainer for Detect Hidden... No, for Blacksmithing is down in Minotire. And then Melson Shear, which is, um, the next area. For Detect Hidden, we have Sun Camp, which is in... Here. And Deter. Detire. That's all over there, I think, in Epoch. I can't remember exactly where the sun camp is. Um, New Salem and Melson Shear, that's the other city. Rathir. Um, Galifor, I think, is all over here, isn't it? Galifor is somewhere over here. Isn't it? Am I misremembering? Where's Galifor? Oh, wait, is that a person? No, it's in Galifor. Where the hell is Galifor? Can I zoom out? Yes, I can, okay. Um, is it over here? Hmm. So the net... I'm just looking at all of them. Telfortarian and Terran's Rest in Galifor. Oh, no, that's up very close to where I am, I think. Yeah, okay. So that's where a lockpicking guy is. And then we have Odessa, which is down south. Kaled Coast, west of Sea Watch, that's all the way over there. I don't know if you can see from here. From Mercantile. Then we got Rathir, Odessa, Nelson Shear, Rathir, and Ballard's Crossing and Keeney. That's, you can see it, that's over there on the right side. And then Stealth, we have Moon Camp and Plains of Eartha. Moon Camp, I think that is there, yeah. We have three more things that we need to train in this area. Honestly, though, once we unlock the moon camp, we'll just be going to Rathir to do everything over there. So the real question is, am I okay with respecting just to grab alchemy real quick? I don't have to worry about it, so I can check it off my list. And then the next things that we'll be getting will be the trainer in Galifor. Then there's a trainer in moon camp. And then we have a handful of trainers in Rathir. And that'll pretty much be it until we get all the way down here. And we'll have a trainer in Minotire, a trainer, a few in Odessa, and at least one in the Sun Camp, wherever that is. Um, yeah. I don't want to wait all the way to Galifor. He's back. Respect now. 
it's not a big deal. And we've been through it before. There's also a fate weaver right here, so we can do it. We have so much money, look at that. Half a million. That's really nothing to worry about. Go ahead and get the perk point. Back and not worry about it. Just give me a straight answer. Is the general still in oh. the cradle of summer? She is for as much good as it'll do her. But the cards don't lie. She'll never get that door open. Fate says it's so. Yes. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to change fate, won't we? This is a fate weaver, I believe. Uh, so let's speak to him first. Respec you and go get our training. Woman? Well, between you and me, I think she might be a bit off her head. That's what the cards say, at any rate. Yeah, so we gotta talk to Mal Molly Janik. Yeah, let's, uh, Fate Weaver, let's go ahead and unbind Destiny. Only 16,000. Yeah, let's go. Get an alchemy training. It's about time. Han likes to keep me up here because down there I fill his ears with talk. I didn't mean to skip. That's a bad thing. This village is a graveyard sometimes. Talk would do it some good. Molly Janik at your service. I teach alchemy. What can be taught, that is. Most of it is a gift. Either you have it or you don't. Right now I don't. Well, okay. I need her to get my make sure I'm doing it right. This is zero to three. This is the last alchemy for this low level that we need in our training. <laughs> Right, so our next skill point won't be until we go to um, the um, the next one won't be until it'll be lock picking in Terran's Rest and Galifor. So we'll get lock picking in Galifor. But right now we have alchemy done. That's good. Now I just need to respec. And get back to where we were. Um, uh, let me go back. I already forgot um, destinies. So the one that we'd like to use is this one. This gives us plus one to all skills. Let's not forget, I'm already getting plus one to that. Plus one to that, and then plus one to that. I don't remember where we went on everything. Um, so actually, let me undo a lot of this stuff. The most important thing is this, and then I want my alchemy up here, at least. I want my stealth up because it is important. I want my persuasion up. Because that's important. We have eight points left. Um, oh my god. What am I doing? Not dispelling. It's um, detect hidden. That's what we want all the way up. Five more left. Salvage, you can use four. I just want to be able to salvage. I'd like to get that far, salvage fair, but I don't really care. Um, just put one, two. I really would like to put them here. I don't know if this is where we had it earlier, but I don't really need um oh increase their effectiveness for repair kits. That's actually kinda good. So 
uh, we also don't have an issue with money. We need to up our blacksmithing though, but that's okay. I think we just lost the point on blacksmithing to up everything else. That's fine. I should keep lock picking at. If I keep lock picking at three, then we'll be able to use the next trainer without having to, to respec. And it'll just mean that um, for the next little bit, lock picking might be a little hard. Yeah, so we might do that first. Let me see. Lock picking. Yeah, that one's a zero to three. So if we do that, then we won't have to respec again. We won't have to respec when we get to Galifor. We won't, but we will have to still respec when we get to Moon Camp because that is going to be no. That's a four to six. We should be okay. Um, then I'm going to. Can I undo? Yeah. I'm going to keep it at that, so it's still technically three, but we'll actually be getting an extra one from everything else. Our persuasion is good. Mercantile. Um, right there. Let's get lots of money. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Confirm. This is the most annoying part, but we'll get through this. Um, I need to have this because this gives me abilities. Unlocks the charge. Reduce scepter costs. Oh, I don't care about that. Charge. This gives me that ability. The only thing that this would do is it reduces the scepter cost, but I don't use those. So do I get, is there anything on the next level? Next level charge, entropy, and maelstrom special attacks can apply damage over time. So that's important. Tax award bonus fate. Yeah, so we need to have those three for sure. I don't know if I was doing that last time, but that's important. Um, I think we're at, what, 22 for each one? Um, unlocks special attacks from block from the staff and scepter. We don't use those. It's 19. That's why we did put some here, I think, just to unlock these. Yeah. For that. I think we're at 22 for each. Yeah, we are. So that looks about right. Now let's move on to might. We need shield all the way up. We need this all the way up. We do use that. We need um, this is a passive and it just boosts everything. So we need that all the way up. And we get this. I think just enough to get to the next level. I have this. Yes. There we are. That's where we were. And now over here, this is the most important thing, I think, at first. Well, actually, let me minus that. This gives me hold and release. I don't use daggers, but this is for fey blades. Next level makes them apply damage over time. Next level gives us fate. We unlock this. I use this constantly. Um, Need to put one there, but first, this is daggers and fey blades. So, next level, their base damage. Yeah, we need we need that stuff. We actually really do. I don't know if I was putting anything into them before, but those are important. Okay, 
we really don't use that one a lot, but there's not a lot of stuff to do here. I could put into my Fey Blades. I, I've told you before, um, I just don't really like to put stuff to boost damage when I could already boost my damage through other means. So to me, I just want stuff that gives me new powers, abilities, or boosts the abilities, since I can't boost those otherwise. And confirm, so now we're at 22 of everything. Let's go back to our um, preference, which is... Oh, it's up here. Where are you? Almost there, Prodigy. That's where we are. Boom. Oh, we do have to go back to our abilities again and re um, replace some. Oh, yeah. So let me leave this area. Actually, I think I can cast it in here. Yeah, there you go. That's casted now. And I can go to my abilities. I like to remove it. Which I'm sure you already I've already told you before, but let's place that on just anything so I can um, move it. All right, so I do usually like this one being um, yeah, that one. I like to be my B button. Why I like to be um, why I like to be the chain. And I like the shield to be on the second one, on B. And this one, I like to be A on the first one. And I do like this one being on X. Now we have, oh yeah, we're just missing our health. That one I like to be on Y on the second one. There we go. Um, oh, I just need my items again. We're still using the same things as copper ring. I don't even know why I have that. Consumables. That's all the same stuff. Items. Um, what am I going there for? I think we're good. Oh, weapons. That's what I was looking for. That's still equipped. That's still equipped. Okay. So now we should. Um, there it is. The right trigger. So there you go. I still have my poison on, and I know you can't see it because my little head's in the way, but everything is set up exactly as it was before. And now if I go to my stats, my skills, everything's boosted a lot more. I got the last one for alchemy, so that's really good. Mercantile is up, persuasion is up. Everything is fine, just like it was before. And we kept lockpicking to three. So that way, when we hit Galafor, we can just immediately go to that um, trainer and just train them up. We just need to remember, if we level up before, then not to put it in lock picking. That way, we won't have to level up uh, respec again until we hit Moon Camp. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to step outside of here. So that way, when we log on next week, I'll remember that we need to do some side quests first uh, before we hit that main quest which is in there we have a couple side quests and it's over here so I'm going to go ahead and save here and there we go um, wow we hit an hour and a half this time that's pretty good well thank you again for watching I appreciate you um, yeah, I'm sorry my schedule has been a little up and down. I've been going through different jobs, you know, trying to find the right job and like that. So I finally I have a pretty cool job, I think. And um, my work schedule will be stable. So I'll be able to definitely jump on around the same time each week, hopefully. I still might move, like, Mondays I haven't been doing Sims 4. I've been doing Sims 4, like, whichever day of the week that I have more energy for it. But I've been trying to stick to doing Kingdoms every Wednesday. Um, so I might do Sims... I might do Sims 4 tomorrow, or I might do it on Saturday. I might even do it... 
like late Friday. I'm not quite sure yet, but I will do it this week. Anyways, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. Um, I appreciate your advice. Um, Sammy Dil Dilia or Delia. I appreciate both of you. And I'll see you guys next time. And to everyone else who watches and doesn't comment, I appreciate you too, of course. And we'll continue our journey. I already forgot what part this was, but we're getting up there. I think we're like, this is part 17 or something. So it's looking like we'll be part 20, part 30. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. But that makes sense. It's a big game. A lot of stuff to do. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.